I feel that, um, you know, not allowing opportunities for, you know, growth, expansion, movement, it will start to take its toll on you mentally, okay? So it, it can affect your mental health. Now, you are a fire sign and ruled by the planet Jupiter, which deals with expansion, expansion in your physical environment, in your consciousness, in your ideology. So you want to create opportunities for growth, for expansion for yourself. And I do feel the energy coming through for this year is not about, you know, restricting yourself. It is creating opportunities that will allow freedom of expansion of movement in your physical environment, okay? So having said that, let, is, let us go into the energy that is going to be coming through for you for the first quarter. Now the first quarter, I definitely feel a lot of opportunities, okay? We do have the uh, Seven of Cups here. And it indicates to me um, just abundance in options and choices. So for a lot of you, I definitely feel that um, you are coming into 2016 wanting a lot out of life. It's sort of like you're ready, you're ready to take that big bite out of, you know, whatever opportunity is presented. You're telling yourself that um, you are going to make the most out of life. You are going to grab opportunities when they come in. And um, you're going to live it big. And I do feel that for majority of you, um, the whole concept of, you know, living large and even the whole concept of grabbing life by the horns and never turning down an opportunity starts to take its toll on you coming in by March. In the time of March, you're going to feel that you're a little bit overwhelmed, you're a little bit shaky, mainly because you were dashing around all January and February, seizing all of these opportunities, which they themselves are great. But I do feel that there has to be a more systematic way of approaching this. And, you know, once again, not overextending your time where you can't say no to all the invitations, you can't say no to people. So just be very, very um, wise about conserving energy. Okay, so you're not running around and frazzled and just, um, then you might just have to say no to a very good opportunity. So it's quality over quantity coming through for the first quarter. Um, for a very small minority of you who might have dealt with like somebody passing away, especially in November and December, and I feel like it's a raw spot, it's, it's something that just happened. I feel that for a lot of you, there might be a, a loved one that was in the hospital, some surgery that might have occurred, or even, you know, somebody passing away that you had to deal with in December. I do sense that um, for this year, you're still thinking about that situation. You're still thinking about even a drastic separation where someone left your life and, you know, it, it still hurts a little bit. But I definitely feel that, um, you know, true to your enthusiastic sun sign. A lot of you are basically picking yourselves up, forcing yourself to go out and forcing yourself to mingle and forcing yourself to just, you know, live life and not look at the past. So this is a very beautiful energy. I do feel a lot of healing therapy coming through for a lot of people through their friends, through their group associations, and through, you know, the overall optimism that you have for 2016. So your optimism is very, very contagious. You're in a very good position, and there's a lot of new friendships to be established, a lot of new people coming through. So once again, keep yourself very open-minded and keep yourself as well, um, I, I would say, like, um, don't say no to invitations, but at the same time, don't wear yourself out, okay? So um, live, live, I guess live large, but conserve your energy, okay? Be conservative about not overextending yourself. So just be careful about that. Now, what is coming in for you for April, May, and June? Um, this is a quarter of immense success, okay? It's um, a lot of a lot of success, and I definitely feel that here. We do have the victory card, and we also have you showing up as a, a very charismatic and a very uh, succinct communicator. So I definitely feel there is a lot of momentum, um, projection of um, promotion, something like advancing, advancing forward, moving up in the world, and even um, getting quite a few followers. A lot of you are kind of like on the forefront of a situation. So if, for example, you are a lawyer 
And um, I do feel that you're going to be the lead lawyer and you're leading a team and you are charging ahead, possibly for a social cause, for a religious cause, and for an ideological cause, okay? So you're championing something. And you have a lot of people following you and you have this team of experts as well. So you're guided and you're very, very sure that you're on the right path and that your truth is what you want to spread. Okay, so I definitely feel a lot of you are on the right path and you're trying to do something to reach out to other people or to champion a cause and it's looking very effective. For others of you, I feel that you might be in a position of authority when it comes to a work environment where you're you're like the project manager or you're coordinating different projects and you're assigning projects to people and you're in either way I feel a lot of a, a sense of strong authority about you and you're in a very good place right now and you're also very visible so just know that you know with a lot of responsibilities um, it, it also puts us in the limelight so whenever we are in a position of uh, fame and fortune there will always be, you know, naysayers. Keep that in mind as you proceed ahead and don't let them detract you from, you know, your own goals, your own beliefs, and your own faith in your own capabilities, okay? So don't let the naysayers detract you from your purpose. I do feel for a lot of you um, who are dating and who are in relationships, especially at this time, there is a very strong air sign. And air signs are Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. This is somebody that can come in as a romantic prospect, but I do feel this is an advisor for a lot of you. For a lot of you, this air sign is giving you, you know, like uh, technical knowledge. They are also somebody who is potentially, um, I, I feel like, I feel like they, they might work with you or they're kind of like under your wing and they go off and they find out some information and they come back and tell you about it or they, they, they're like a consultant and they come in and out, but they're giving you very valuable knowledge, very good insight. So this is somebody who can help you greatly. I feel like for a lot of you, it might be like a financial consultant, a legal consultant, even a business partner. But I do feel that, um, I do feel that there is a power differential. So I'm, I'm not sensing so much of a business partner. Or it could just be like a, a collaborator. Not so much a business partner, but I definitely feel this is this person is instrumental to your success, okay? What I do feel coming through at the end of the second quarter, around the June time frame, June and July, is that a lot of you as well might be relocating for um, a new to a new house, or you might be commuting quite a long distance for a new job situation, okay? Or your job takes you away from your house. So there's just a lot of um, travel, a lot of commute overall. For a lot of you as well, there might be situations where, you know, you have like joint custody and you're shifting children or transporting children between two partners, uh, or excuse me, two households. Um, I'm also sensing as well, for those of you who work with animals, especially like injured animals, I feel that you're transporting a lot of um, different animals or you're dropping them off, picking them up in different households. So you might work for an a res animal rescue center, but I definitely feel a lot of animals for some reason coming through, especially in July. So that is something in the works. And I, I feel like you're you're going to be... Your hands are pretty much, you know, your time is filled up. Your hands are tied. And I definitely feel you are loving the job, though. So you're you're in a good place. I feel that you're in a good place. You're keeping busy. You're being very extremely productive. And you're doing a job that really drives your passion. So I feel because of it, there is um, very little room for, you know, riffraff and, and distraction in your life. You're very directed. Um, coming in for the third quarter of the year, which is going to span July, August, and September. Um, there's a little bit of a competition, and it is coming through as somebody sort of um, in your work environment provoking you. And I don't feel it's in a good, it's in an entirely negative way. But I do feel that this person, um, it can be, you know, like a, a romantic prospect it can be somebody who likes you quite a bit and it's showing up as an earth sign okay earth signs are Taurus Virgo and Capricorn and I do feel this person is 
admiring you from afar. And this person seems very exotic. Um, there is a sense of magic about him or her. And I do feel that they are really, you know, quite attractive. It's uh, one of those people where you look at them once and you feel like, okay, I have to turn around and get a second glimpse of them because there's so much to take in. Like there's so much contrast. There is a this sense of exoticism. And I feel like, I feel like they also really enjoy, you know, being around animals as well. They like animals. They like, you know, the the exotic. So this is just the person that you feel is uh, is strikes you, and you you can't help but just stare at them from across the room. For example, um, I do feel that if it's in a work environment, it might be a situation where um, you both like laugh at the same jokes, or you both like roll your eyes when the same person speaks for example so there is this unst understated or even you know unspoken bond between the two of you and I, I do sense it is pretty much you know very very strong initial attraction here so it has the potential to to pan out into friendship and relationship and I feel like attraction is really great it might just be a friendship because it's a work situation but you know it can escalate to something else or something more than that um, for a lot of you it might be a there might be another person, a fire sign coming through. And um, I feel that this fire sign might not be single. I feel that they are, so the fire signs are Sagittarius, Aries, and um, Sagittarius, Aries, excuse me, and Leos. So another Sagittarius, and I feel that this is a person that is just looking for more of a fling more of a good time and um, they might not be entirely dependable either so just something to keep in mind and I feel like they might have you know other people coming to them or they might have like a lot of suitors so you you might be you know uh, vying for their attention and I feel earlier when I mentioned that there's somebody provoking you it could be like a jealous you know um, prospect of this fire sign or this earth sign and um, there either way there's like three people here and I feel like there might be some jealousy there might be a situation where you're you have to protect somebody from other suitors coming at you so it, it's just a, a contentious issue there is room for conflict here so just be really careful if you are in a situation where you're dating multiple people and there are you know confrontations that come through Overall, on the work environment, um, be very careful for the third quarter that you don't mix business with pleasure, okay? Because I feel like your reputation, your credibility, and things like that might take a nosedive as a result of this conflict breaking out on the work front. I feel in general that you're level-headed enough not to do, to do this, but once again, when we involve other people, we don't know what they're capable of. So just be very careful about that. I do feel financially you're in a very stable situation. The Queen of Pentacles is, um, you know, somebody who has a lot of financial abundance. And we also have the Nine of Pentacles, which is um, somebody who's self-employed. So if you have self, if you are self-employed and you have... Um, you own your own companies and things like that. There might just be, you know, sending out uh, help wanted ads and getting a lot of responses and then having to choose between competitors. So this can be, you know, people just vying for your attention in a work environment where they want the position that you offer. So that is how it can play out. But I definitely feel a lot of competition for your attention. And I also feel a lot of good people around. So don't lead them astray in love or work or romance or um, whatever areas that they come in. They're very good, honest, hardworking people. And they're willing to, you know, get their hands dirty. So give them a chance, all right? In terms of what's coming in for you for October, November, and December, I definitely feel like this is one of those things where you have to make a very, very important decision. So the whole concept of freedom of movement comes back in here for re-examination. And I'm going to say that um, we have cards here in which you're, you're feeling as if you're very stuck. And your intuition is, um, is kind of like... It, you want you want clarity and you want insight and you feel like you can't really act without the clarity and insight but it seems to me as if you you have already made up your mind as to what you want to do 
So the insights are steering you away from that situation, but because you're, you have already made up your mind that you end up making the wrong decision. So this is a, a month in which, you, this is a quarter in which it is really important to take a step back and to figure out what it is that our intuition is trying to tell us. So, you know, lay out a list of pros and cons, consult somebody um, when it comes to major career changes, when it comes to, you know, major decisions. For a lot of you, I do feel it is a relationship um a relationship, a major decision concerning a relationship, like should I or shouldn't I? And for a lot others of you, it might be a health situation. I don't feel like there's a health scare or anything like that, but I do feel there might be, you know, uh, situations where there are treatments or there are, um, you're getting a second opinion and you're realizing, at first you realize, oh, the situation is, is quite bad. And then you get a second opinion and you realize it's not that bad. So then it's just a matter of who do you trust at this point, what you should do. So, you know, consult a third party if you need to. But I definitely feel that um, you feel as if you don't have all the information and you literally feel as if your hands are tied. So going back to what I mentioned earlier about, you know, the... Um, if you don't have an answer to something, sit with it, do some research. Don't make a decision when you are not sure about the, the, if you're not completely sure about the whole picture. So this is the year in which, you know, not having all the information is going to be detrimental. So you really want to take the time to make well-informed decision and so that you don't get yourself stuck, okay? So aim for the situations that will allow for mobility. So if this means, you know, choosing between selling that car or not, then I would say, you know, keep a car because it can provide you freedom of movement. If this is about, you know, getting that surgery in order to, um, getting that surgery for your, for, I don't know, um, selling selling a house and then re, um, moving to another country well you know it, it is a situation about freedom of movement versus security so think about very carefully what it means to you what that house means to you aside from just a, a physical shelter and aim for the decisions that will allow freedom of movement and also this means you know not going back to that ex because over and over again things have not worked out and you know he or she might have been very controlling and restricted your freedom of movement so this is the these are the things that are coming out for the last quarter of the year for you to re-examine and I do feel for a lot of you aim for higher ground, aim for higher truths, and leave yourself very, very open and receptive when the truths start coming in. It might not be something that we want to hear, but they are higher truths and they are delivered to us because we asked for them, okay? So just trust that even though it's, it's giving you it's not exactly giving you what you want to hear, sit with it. And maybe there is some profound knowledge that can be gleaned from it, and maybe you can take away something that is quite important by keeping an open mind, all right? 